the economy was growing so nicely, it, it's going to quiet down a little. You know, you're running a big, long race. People get a little tired. So uh, they just get a little tired. So I think the economy is going to grow more like a 1% to 2% next quarter. And that's, that's pretty good. I'm surprised at the pessimism here. It's pretty high. They, a lot of people seem to think the trade and the tariffs is a permanent fixture of, the, of, of our trading system for the next, maybe the next year or so. Do you share that pessimism? And is it going to hurt the markets? Well, I think I do agree that it, it's here to stay for a while. I, I don't see the, the Chinese and the administration sort of working it out on Thursday. I just, I just don't think that's on the table. Um, so I think it's here for a while. And, uh, but I think the economy will get used to it. I think it's much more dangerous for China because supply chain can handle three months or four months. But once supply chain moves, you know, it starts moving to Vietnam, they can't get it back. Yeah. So I think each six months will cost China a 1% of GDP. And so they'll try to make a deal with uh, so the, the deal administration will be before, before the next election. My guess well, would be... But that's a long ways off, though. I, I think it's going to be at recession least Recession or no recession in 2020? What side of the divide are you on? I'm on no recession. I'm slower growth, sort of 1.5% to 2%, but no recession. I get emails about the bond market and why we are so low. Help us explain this briefly here. There's the group that says it's telegraphing a recession. That's why the yields are low, Bob. Stop worrying about it. Other people say central bank intervention is why the yields are low. Other people say global bond yields are low because there's been low inflation because the Chinese have been out with lower price goods for years and years. That's keeping prices down. There's other factors like technology keeping prices down. Explain the bond market to us right now. You're the expert on this. Why are yields so low? Global? So low, low inflation is sort of the, a base line, which is true. So low inflation around the world keeps rates low. That's a start. Second one, the Fed raised rates because they were at zero. And so the Fed wanted to get away from zero. So they got all the way to two and a half percent. They did a really good job. Now they've got some coil in the spring. And so if the economy starts to slow, they've got some room to take it back down. So what you should expect to see is the Fed who jumped out quickly to two and a half percent, right? Well, dial it back to a quarter, maybe even all the way to 2%, to just try to keep this growth going, keep it at the 2% rate, keep it going at the 2%. So I think that's what you should expect through the end of this year, maybe into early next so year. So you're in the camp, the Fed cuts two, three times this year? I, I would say two times, including maybe the first quarter of next year. And I think growth will be in the 2% range going forward, maybe a slightly below. But I think it's it's still sort of smooth. The economy is not stopping. It's, it's just not. It doesn't feel that way to me. It doesn't feel that way in the statistics we see. I kind of think we're just going back to where it was growing under the Obama administration. I know the current administration is not a fan of that. You're talking 2%. It's not bad. Kind 2%. Of thing. Like when, since when yeah. we had eight years of thinking, oh, that's pretty good. Now all of a sudden it's not good enough. Come on.